Now, the derailment, massive fire, and hazardous chemical leak all went down in one man's backyard. Megan Schiller spoke with residents to find out if they're getting answers to the questions that matter most to them. This is just one of the waterways here in East Palestine impacted by the chemicals following that derailment. Here in this creek, they're redirecting the water. They're pumping it up into that machine, and it is spewing back out of this hose right past the sandbag barrier. And I have to tell you, it reeks here, and the smell of chemicals definitely intensifies the closer you get to water, not to mention what it smells like when a train rolls by. William Hugers lived his whole life in this house, but now his backyard's just steps from the train tracks everyone's talking about. This is ground zero, literally. He let us walk around his property, getting an up-close look at the burnt-out Norfolk Southern rail cars. Just a glimpse of the damage, both seen and unseen. All the news stations are talking about this, but we still don't have Biden here. We don't have FEMA. He stood in this line for hours Wednesday night, waiting to get inside the gymnasium and get some answers. Norfolk Southern backed out of the meeting hours before. Are you satisfied with what everyone's saying? I kind of already knew the answers before they said it. They're trying to keep this somewhat hush-hush, but they can't. News is everywhere. Crews dug up the gravel and soil along the tracks Thursday, hauling it away to these blue E-tanks. This comes after the EPA accused the railroad company of covering up this dirt, saying it failed to properly dispose of the contaminated soil after the derailment. Work appeared to abruptly stop when our camera showed up. We watched as everyone hopped off the equipment, gathered behind a tree, and turned their backs. How did you feel when you heard that a couple hours before they backed out and said they're not going to come? Figures. <laughs> They create the problem, fix it. Norfolk Southern CEO releasing a new statement Thursday. CEO Alan Shaw reassuring residents like Huger, saying in part, I know there are still a lot of questions without answers. I know you're tired. I know you're worried. We will not let you down. And it's not just that they're tired. Some of these people we've talked to here today say they feel like their whole life has been taken away from them. They say they can't breathe without a headache and their furniture reeks and they've had to throw it out onto the curb. You're going to hear from that family coming up tonight at 6. Reporting in East Palestine, Megan Schiller, KDKA News.